This is a tutorial on jQuery. First thing we're going to do is start a new website. We're going to call this website jQuery, of course. Click on OK. Then what we're going to do is go to jQuery and download the latest version. I'm going to get the uncompressed file. I'm going to right click it save target as and I'm gonna save it straight to my website into the scripts folder save go back to visual web developer refresh see the latest jQuery. I'm just going to remove the f default content that was strapped in there by Visual Web Developer. Let's go to design mode. Let me just hide a couple of these things. And let's drop uh, a text box control on there. as well as a button. And before I start doing any work with jQuery, uh, the first thing I want to do is go to web.config and we're going to go to the system.web uh, node and put in a pages node and we'll make sure that our client ID mode is static. It's not 100% necessary, but um, that's that makes it easier for jQuery. Now let's go into the source of this file. And note, I'm not going to put the jQuery reference into the header, but just at the end of the content. So simply drag and drop this guy right here. Now we have a reference to latest jQuery. Now let's open up another script block. JavaScript. Now let's move this over just a little bit. Now let's write something real simple like uh, Let's see, let's start with the button. Let's get the button ID and write uh, dollar sign in quotes hashtag plus the button ID and this is going to happen on the click event and we're going to close that off semicolon on the bottom. Well, let's write a function in here. And we got to have this swirly brackets. Let's make this just a little neater. Okay, great. And we're going to write if that's going to be the condition and that's what's going to happen if it's true. And We're going to start writing something like check if the uh, text box is empty. So let's write uh, dollar, uh, start out with dollar sign and let's get a uh, reference to the text box ID and we're going to put that there Close that off, that val. And we're going to write equals that. We're going to say if that is true, if the value of the text box 1 is not is empty, we're going to write alert. Then 
this text box may not be empty. Close of quotes, semicolon. Yeah, and that should do us just fine. So let's try to run this guy. Um, I don't know if we're able to work OK. Text box is empty, and when close this uh, this text box may not be empty, but you see it returns. Uh, so we want to make sure that no post back happens, and we're going to write return false. You see the text box may not be empty, but if we put something in there, it does just fine. Let's do something interesting here. Let's put BR. Let's put a div inside here. Div ID content. Okay. And we have let's let's write Let's write an else if if the text box is not empty. Else if inside us here is going to be the condition. Oh, we forgot to close this off beforehand. We're going to close that off. Else if, and we're going to have this guy here. Oops. Okay, that's good. Well, this starts and ends here. Actually, this starts and ends here. That's the if. This is the else if. Else if... Well, we'll just make it else because the else would be if it doesn't equal nothing. It doesn't equal an empty string, so uh, we're gonna write something like uh, uh, div content Let's write uh, start dollar sign in quotes hashtag the ID close off the parentheses that HTML and let's set the HTML to the text boxes the text boxes text uh, actually it's right you entered plus um, dollar sign open parentheses hashtag oh oops open quotes hashtag we need the text box ID control V close parentheses that val two parentheses open close let's close off the parentheses that's for the HTML and we gotta put a semicolon on the end actually let's make that return false as well because the page reloads and the div gets en emptied out let's not forget our semicolon so in both cases return it f is false it's just that when a text box has value, uh, the div gets filled. So let's try this out. The text box is empty. When we click on the button, this text box may now be empty. And if we write something, hello123, click on the button, you entered hello. Oh, you see there's no space there. So, okay. And that's good. And that should do us right. Let's try it out. And let's hit the button. Yeah. Hello, you entered one to three. So I guess that's a good start with jQuery. Um, 
looking forward to making more. Let me know what you guys think of this one.